Hey guys, it's Shock with DG, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over all of the best graphics settings as well as some other things you could do to improve the overall video quality of your game and make it easier for you to see your opponents in game. Before we start the video though, 57% of you watching this video right now aren't subscribed. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post daily Rainbow Six Siege content going over everything from tips and tricks like these to gameplay videos, so I promise you won't regret it. In the background, I'll be showing you clips from some of my older videos where I was using these settings that I show you how to use today. Anyways, I want to make a disclaimer before we get into this video. I'm going to be talking about NVIDIA settings for this, so if you don't use an NVIDIA GPU, these won't work for you. These are also only PC settings, so you won't be able to do any of this on console. I'm aware that you could do something very similar with AMD, but I don't know the specifics on how to do that, so I'll only be talking about NVIDIA settings in this video. Before I show you the settings, let me show you this before and after. So as you can see, with the graphic settings I show you in today's video, you can get a much better looking game than you would without them. And this is not any sort of editing tricks. This is just the difference between my settings turned off and them turned on. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is go in game and hit Alt and Z on your keyboard. This is going to open up the shadow play menu. From there, go ahead and click on the game filter button on the top left hand side. From there, go ahead and select style one. And after that, we're going to add some filters. The first filter is called details. So scroll through the list until you find it. After that, add a second filter called color. Now, if you look at the right hand side of each filter, you'll see an arrow for the drop down menu. This will allow you to customize each filter exactly how you want it to look. So we'll start with the first filter that we added, which was called details. So go ahead and click on that drop down arrow to open up the menu, then change your settings to mine here. So firstly, we have sharpen, turn that down to 0%. Then clarity, you want to turn that to 72%. For your HDR toning, you want that at 16%. And finally, for Bloom, turn it all the way down to 0%. All right, so that's all for your detail settings. Let's move on to the color settings. So we'll again start at the top with your tint color. Go ahead and change that to 0%. You'll do the same for the second option, which is tint intensity as well. As for your temperature, change that to 0 right in the middle. And lastly, your vibrance should be on 72.9. So that's it for your game filter settings. There's only two filters here that I use, and you can see that it really improves the overall video quality of your game drastically. Now, there's a bunch of different filters you could use and you can play around with different settings if you'd like but these are the two that i use and these are the settings that i use for them please feel free to change any of these settings to whatever you want as everyone's monitors are different and this may look really bad for you but really good for me so please remember to just change the settings to whatever works best for you there's a few other things you can do on top of this as well though so personally i like to turn my digital vibrancy up in my nvidia control panel to access that go to your desktop home screen go to your windows search bar and then type in nvidia control panel it should be right there go ahead and open that up to where it says display and then under that click on adjust desktop color settings from there you'll see either one monitor or multiple if you have multiple monitors you can click on which monitor you want these settings to apply to and then you can change them to whatever you'd like so personally i set my digital vibrancy to 75 percent and my hue to only zero you can of course change any of these settings whether it's your nvidia control panel settings or the game filters to whatever works best for you as i said before after you change any nvidia control panel settings be sure to hit apply so that your changes are actually saved and go into effect that's pretty much it for the out of game changes that i have to show you all today there are some things that you could do in game which i'll show you but they are very minor and pretty much self-explanatory so when in siege make sure your brightness is high enough but not too high so that everything looks too bright you have to find the right balance and it changes heavily from monitor to monitor so be sure to adjust any of these settings i brought up today to what fits you the best personally for my brightness in game i use 70. i don't have any specific reasoning for this it's just what works best for me and I suggest you pick whatever looks best for you as well. After that, you can take a look at your in-game graphic settings. Personally, I usually keep all of these settings on either low or off. Besides shadows, I keep on medium. I also have been using TAA because my RAM isn't working properly right now, which destroys my frames when I'm streaming on Twitch. If you're interested in watching me stream, I'll have the link to that in the description, along with all of my other socials such as Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Anyways though, onto my TAA settings. So I like to run my adaptive render scaling target fps to zero my render scaling to 25 and my taa sharpness 
brightness to 100. I know that this makes your game look super blurry, and I don't recommend you run these settings if you want your game to look better, but if you need more FPS, this can help you out a lot. I can almost double my FPS while playing with the Vulcan version of Siege, which increases your FPS, while also using the TAA settings that I've shown you here. So those are my normal graphic settings, but of course, if you want your game to look perfect, you could turn all of these up. If you plan on playing with any of these settings turned up though, I suggest you keep some of these settings off, such as lens effect, ambient occlusion, and zoom and depth of field. If you're using these settings to get really colorful looking thumbnails though, like I am, having those settings on could be great, just not for while you're actually playing. You can also download the Ultra HD Texture Pack, which can be found in the store on either Steam or in Uplay itself. This one is pretty self-explanatory. It's going to increase the visual quality of Siege. This will also tank your FPS though, so do keep that in mind if you have all of these settings enabled. You may get very, very low FPS, even with a very powerful PC. But if you'd really like to try it, don't worry. You don't have to pay for it or anything. It's completely free in the store. All you have to do is download it. All right, so that's all that I have to show you guys today about how to make your game look better and to see your opponents a little bit more clear. Before I let you all go though, I wanna say that these settings specifically such as the game filter, can add input lag to your game. Basically, that will add a slight delay while playing. So if you really don't want that to happen, do not turn those filters on. Just keep them off and turn your digital vibrancy up and your NVIDIA control panel. Not only does it add input lag, but it also drops your FPS significantly. So again, if you'd like to avoid that, go ahead and keep all of that off and just go into your NVIDIA control panel and turn your digital vibrancy up. But if you're just going for thumbnails while using these settings, like I usually am, then these settings can be great to increase the quality of your thumbnails. That's going to be it for today's video though. I hope you all enjoyed and if you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to help support me. As I said earlier, I'll have a link to all of my socials such as Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. If you'd like to follow me on any of those, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'll also have a link to my podcast that I started with a few of my friends, A21 Mayo and Vexian. We host a new episode live every Friday at 1 p.m. East on my Twitch channel, so be sure to follow me there and turn notifications on so that you don't miss our next episode. If you'd like to watch the previous two episodes or any highlights from those you could check out the youtube channel which i'll also have linked down below in the description anyways thank you all so much for watching and have a great day No, we're just rotate, oh there is. Where is that? Okay. Let me get the ace. Dude, I thought he's I thought he's gonna drop down to be honest. 